Hello there everybody, DJ Numa here with another episode of The Hall Anime Next 2015 edition. Anyway, how's it going? My voice finally recovered. And um, couldn't go over some of the stuff that I was able to find and pick up there. Uh, first thing you may notice is new wall scroll. That's the first thing that I got. Um, I went in. Well, actually, it's not the first thing I got. First thing I got was uh, this along with some other stuff but we'll go over that as we get to it um where did i put there it is all right so first things first we're gonna go over something that you all know about i am a huge pokemon fan i hope you know and uh, imagine my surprise when i found these um these are game cases for the original Game Boy games for Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, they the guy actually had all nine um, portables up to the of the Game Boy generations, uh, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games, uh, Gens one through three. But when I went back after getting all my money together, uh, somebody had already bought. The Pikachu one, so I decided just to get Gold, Silver, Crystal. Now, the interesting thing about these is that you can get them from, uh, let's see, customgamecases.com, and they mimic the old box art for the Game Boy games, um, which is freaking awesome. Uh, so, that's about all there is to be said about that. Um, Next thing I picked up, uh, while not as amazing as the first thing, um, was a manga series called Sacred. Now, there's something about, and I got the first three volumes of this manga. Um, I'm not really digging the whole boy love thing going on there, I, but um, basically this is... The Adventures of a uh, Sorcerer as he basically grows the fuck up. Um, the, the artwork is kind of cool, as you can see. Opening to a random page, it's kind of cool. The story is interesting and definitely worth at least giving a read. Uh, the lady who writes this... Uh, actually does so independently, goes out to stores and distributes it on her own. So for that reason alone is why I picked it up. I just was like, oh, this looks cool. Yoink. Um, yeah, that's that. So moving on to, this isn't even mine, uh, that's my friend Sean's. And to other stuff that I managed to pick up, um... As some of you may know, I may be butchering this. Uh, Eliza was there. Um, so I picked up her album. I was going to go get it signed because she was doing autograph sessions, but I wasn't really digging it with the mix um, and how the staff was acting about it, so I decided not to get in that line. But um, interesting, interesting music from her. Uh, definitely worth checking out. I love that Guilty Crown wall scroll, man. Um, definitely worth checking out. It's the As a Life album. I think she did a world tour for it last year. Or a tour for it last year. Um, next thing I managed to find was this. This is Supercell featuring Hatsune Miku. Um, it's a two disc CD DVD combo. Um, well, that's interesting. I think my case is broken already. Um, Got it for $35 because it's an import version. All of it's in Japanese. So, I can't understand half the stuff, but I know which track's Black Rock Shooter. That's a good part. Uh, and the last CD I was able to manage to pick up was Flow, Anime Best Kawaii. Um, and one of the coolest things about this was that at the convention... They had a VIP guest pass thing, which I managed to get, but I only managed to get it because some fool decided I'm not going to pay for mine, so oh 
well. He lost out on his chance, and I snatched this up rather quickly. Uh, what it came with was just priority access to the concert and stuff like that. It was $40. Um, but one really cool thing is that they were doing photo ops. So there's me in my, uh, my Zaft uniform getting a photo op with the band, and I got it signed, which is really effing cool. Uh, these guys are great. If you ever have a chance to go see Flo, do it. Because they are a live event that is... A, it, it's beyond anything I've ever experienced, and I've even gone to Iron Maiden. And that, let me tell you, these guys got energy from an American crowd that I didn't think was possible. Um, like, now, normally I blow out my, voices at, my voice at concerts, stuff like that. But when I tell you that they had the entire crowd interacting and no one was like on their phones the entire fucking time, that is an indication that they are awesome. Oh, Kiwami. Sorry. Not Kawaii. What the fuck was I saying that for? Uh, moving on to multimedia. Um, I found a couple of things. First thing of note, Guilty Crown, Part 1, Special Edition, DVD, Blu-ray set. Uh, comes with a couple art books, other stuff. Got it for $72. Not really worth it. Um, Heaven's Lost Property and Heaven's Lost Property Forte. Seasons 1 and 2 of Heaven's Lost Property. Uh, Funimation was actually running a special thing where if you bought them both, um, you, get it si you get the second season signed by the voice actors and actresses, or some of them. Um, so that that had to be... I had to snatch that up because it was too awesome to miss. Um, I also got a poster, but on the way home, something hit, landed on it, and it got ruined. So I can't exactly show that in good conscience because the artist did a damn good job on it. Um, I also got this. Elucidator. It's the foam sword, so it's bendy. Flappy sword. Um, allowed to use it in LARPing, and I can hit it against my head and not hurt. So I got that. And I think there was one more th Oh, there you are. Danko, 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 taiko, zoku.